Have you ever wondered how you could watch every single race of the Pepsi Cup series and have them all at your fingertips? Scroll down to the playlist tabs and then select the season playlist of your choosing and then select the race in which you wish to watch. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and enjoy all of the racing action here on the Firelinks Racing Network. Organizers decided to change the layout a little bit, making turns one and two a lot more flat. There's now a curb on the inside. We were supposed to get racing last night, but rain postponed us to today, so those curves will be highly slippery. Here's your ones to watch. Ross Castain and the one starts on pole. He's tied right now with the nine of Chase Elliott for the points lead, so that'll be an interesting battle to watch. Christopher Bell led every single lap last time we were here. Can he do the Grand Slam once again? We'll see. Brad Kozlowski starts deeper in the field than the other guys we've talked about, but still is a threat to take victory for the first time here this season. As we get ready now to roll off for the second annual Allentown race here in the Pepsi Cup Series, here's a look at the starting lineup. L-Dog 48 Gaming is alongside Elliott Fan 9. Cooper Snyder is alongside Gianna Road the Wall. They are row number two. Renee Hernandez is alongside Timothy Tacos in row three. Sports and Gaming Central is alongside Racer X Productions behind them in row number four. Row five, we have NASCAR Toyota Cup Series alongside NW147. 99 one last time out at Charlotte. Payne is alongside Colin Cropley in row six. Row seven, it's Cub Stero 9 and NASCAR and Dogs with Super NASCAR Fan 48 alongside Dark Shadows Guard behind them. Row number 9, we have Mickey and Jeffy Show alongside Dylan Hardy. And rounding out the top 20 for today's race, Ozone Productions and Soap. In row 11, we have SMTS Racing Network. He's alongside Nikolai, who hasn't been on the greatest run recently, trying to recover. Doorman is alongside Nathan S. behind them. The Sergio Show lines up alongside Tyler to create a 2. R.S. Conover alongside Chase the Row Racer. Can 142 is alongside Super Mario David 124. Yes Productions lines up alongside Nil 83 today. Game Bros 27 is alongside Kraken Racing with Duncan alongside Rex Racing Network. And rounding out today's field, we have Win 049 and Theory Racing Network. Today's race will be 12 laps, the top two in the points. Tied right now, start on the front row. There's less banking in one and two than last time. I'm joined today by East Coast. Hello everybody, it's great to be in the commentary box for one of these Pepsi Cup Series races. Gonna be another fun ride here today in Allentown, a home race for both Ethan and I. Green flag in the air and they head down to turn one. Chastain and Elliott side by side, exiting turn number two and down the back stretch. Christopher Bell trying to make that bottom line work. He's going to take a peek for second, but it's Elliot leading the opening lap here. Elliot down through the dog leg, through turns one and two. Chastain going to try to clear the 20. I believe he's going to do that off the turn two, but the 20 trying to fight back. Daniel Flores going three wide to the bottom, but up front, Ross had a look coming out of turn four. Here comes Chastain. He's going to go to try to the top side here. Maybe a bit of a crossover move. Yeah, here comes the one to the inside of the nine and Chase Elliott. Oh, they slide. They're into the outside wall. The two leaders have wrecked out. 
drama early. Castain and Elliot in the wall. And this is gonna be spicy because these two lead the championship. There's a chance they don't anymore with this huge blow on points not even making it to halfway. Ross got loose underneath Chase and just took them both out. Wow. And now Christopher Bell will resume the lead here. Let's see this one again. Chastain looks like he might have gotten the apron there. Slides up into the door of Chase Elliott. Yeah, you can see there. Into the apron, into the wall. Huge hit for the one in the nine cars. It's just a mistake on the one's part there. I mean, not much you can do once you do get on that apron. I mean, the car just slides, especially with this track being slick after the rain. But we're getting ready to go back racing. We'll have two laps before we award the halfway bonus. Green flag back in the air. It's Christopher Bell out front. Here comes Bell down into turn number one. Now you got Michael McDowell in the second spot. A new face up front here in the Pepsi Cup Series. He wants to get a win. Oh, oh. and around for Suarez. Suarez spins, collects Denny Hamlin. You've got Kizilowski. You've got Ty Gibbs, Kyle Larson, and Bubba Wallace also involved. A major pile up here at Allentown just before halfway. Wow, as they now are under the caution for the second time this race. Looks like Suarez, another incident of getting on the apron in turns three and four, causes a massive crash here, coming onto the front stretch. One thing I've noticed, they didn't really change the banking in turns three and four, but they definitely changed the corner as a whole, and it's a lot tougher to get a good line because the corner is tighter on the entrance and then it widens out and a lot of drivers have been getting caught out by that so we get ready to come back to the green here christopher bell who takes the halfway bonus leads them back to the green with mcdowell on his outside here comes mcdowell he got a really good restart and he's gonna clear for the lead with help from kyle bush who clears for the second position kyle bush has been so strong but hasn't really been able to get wins in these races that he's had a strong car. Can he do so today as John Hunter Nemechek moves up in the third? Noah Gregg's in the fourth behind them. Here comes the 48 from the back of the field. He's on the outside of the 42 and John Hunter Nemechek. He wants to make a move, but it's all Michael McDowell out front here in Allentown. Kyle Busch looks to have pace. He's closing in as here we see a battle between Gregson and Hunter Nemechek. Gregson takes the spot. McDowell is all clear and starting to pull away out front. Here comes McDowell through turns three and four. Oh, he got a spinner in the back. A huge hit for Josh Blicky. Did Michael McDowell make it to the line? We're gonna have to see. Scoring monitor definitely said final lap before the caution came out it was really close at the time of caution but they definitely waited until about when he impacted the wall to throw it and i think that's going to make the difference yeah yes, i'm they just called not it. sure on this one this one is close as we saw mcdowell he did it michael mcdowell was yeah. one here in allentown as we were getting the replays there and analyzing everything, they called it, said McDowell was the leader at the time of caution and had just crossed the start-finish line. They hesitated on throwing it, maybe thinking he would have just spun around and kept going, potentially, and when Balicki hit that wall, they threw it. There are your results, the top 12 there. Great run for McDowell. Gregson, Nemechek, they needed great runs. Sammy Smith finished in sixth. Great day for him. Yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, wow, so close to that finish there. I really can't believe it, but you see guys here, kind of, you know, solid run for the 91 car. Um, that's a good 20-second spot for them. But, yeah, it's just, I, I still can't get over the fact how close that was with Balicki, yeah. Kurt Wall, and McDowell crossing the line. Just some unbelievable racing out there today. And another story we have to talk about. <laughs> Excuse me. Kyle Larson. 
DNF number nine on the season here today. I mean, he's really been checkers or wreckers. He's either won or DNF'd now in 10 of the 12 races we've run this season. Yeah, Larson has always been kind of like that. As we see a look at the point standings now, we see Kyle Busch take the lead, commanding lead, of the points over Ross Chastain and Chase Elliott after their run-in here today in turns three and four. And I mean, that's all due to one finishing second, two getting those halfway points. If Chastain and Elliott made it to halfway, they'd probably be... 20 or so points closer, but it's just not the case with Kyle Busch getting, what is it, 75, I believe, for second. It's just not going to happen. So there you look at the rest of the points through the top 30. Matt Benedetto had a really bad day, drops four spots in the standings. Sammy Smith plus five. Fantastic Anyways, day for him. Yeah, thank you for joining the East Coast. Absolutely, thank you for having me out pleasure having you here in the booth. We'll have to make this like a yearly thing at Allentown. Yeah, it sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe for more. That'll do it here from Allentown. So long here from Pennsylvania.